Hi everyone, it's my second hobby blog video. Yes, I'm still doing this. Um, so it's time to go into my room of shame, get out all the models and talk about what I have, what my foundation is and, and start to unpack the plan. Now, I will confess, I have already been into the room of shame. I have already pulled out most of the models because I have undercoated them red. I've got them ready um, and I've used my airbrush, which is just here behind me. I've got a lot of them ready um, and I'll be able to go through what it is that I'm, I'm planning to do. Now, if you're watching this, thank you. Thank you for watching uh, my videos and for tolerating having my buff head on your TV or your phone. So, um, you know, I know I've got a face built for radio. We'll see how this all goes. Um, I'm just here to have a bit of fun and I appreciate you guys coming along the journey with me. So let's go to the room of shame and then we'll work out what we're going to do from there. Hi everyone, here we are in my notorious room of shame. Now this is a photo this was a photography darkroom. I actually painted it purple for one of my daughters as a play area, but she never used it. So um, basically it got taken over by my hobby interests. And I don't know if I can really show you. There's cupboards, there's shelving, there's lots of drawers, and there's boxes down here. We've got lots of stuff in here. All of these drawers here, they're just they're full of models. Um, oh look, we've got some got some blood angels already. Here's some terminators. Ah, second edition Carnifex. Um, here we go. I got a stack of Imperial. Oh, some land raiders they'll go into our blood angels so what we'll do is i'll grab what's in here that i know there's a drop pod there there's a box here which i think has a second drop box this is full of blood angels there's um just in the corner over here there's um one of those old warhammer 40,000 or warhammer fantasy sorry uh, big plastic styrofoam box things um with the foam trays so i'll grab that out i know that's got Undead Bretonians, it's got all sorts in it, but there's a tray of Blood Angels in that um, because I've already got it out and painted them or undercoated them. Um, I'll grab these tanks and a couple of bits here. I'll take them into uh, one of my tables inside. I think I might have to fish some stuff out of this drawer here. Oops, I am recording this on my phone. I'm new to YouTube. I know it sucks, um, but I'm giving it a go. So. You know, it is what it is. Um, but hopefully you'll enjoy seeing, um, a, you know, a, a, lot, a human looking Homer Simpson fat guy fishing through all of his old shit and finding some stuff that you might find interesting. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to stop this video here, grab this stuff because I can't do both whilst ho holding the phone. Um, I'll lay it all out on a table and um, we'll look at the foundation of the Blood Angel Second Company. Here we are with um, a whole heap of stuff that I've pulled out of the storage room. Now, I have to make a couple of confessions as we move forwards. I've already started painting some of this because I couldn't help myself. The other confession I've got to make is that um, even though uh, I said that most of this stuff was from leftovers from when I was gaming back in the day, that's a lie. About I would let's say half of it is the other half of it I've accrued over the over the last 20 years so someone would say oh hey I've got these do you want them I'll I'd give them some money for it um, because in my gut I, I kind of knew this day would come when one of the guys would probably want to get back into this game and the main reason for that is is that it's the only really popular tabletop war game in our area X-Wings a distant second um, and then you got your Blood Bowl and your other games. War Machine and Hordes had a big following but their shift from their second to their third edition really torpedoed that game. <laughs> and I've kept all of that crap as well but I kind of knew this day would come so um, when they released Plastic Drop Pod Kids kits I got really excited and so I grabbed, uh, well I actually grabbed two so I know I've got two of them. Um, 
likewise, uh, a guy was getting rid of um, a bunch of the Space Hulk uh, Space Marine Terminators, the Blood Angel ones, and he said, do you want them? Um, I, think, I think I gave him 50 bucks and I got 10 Terminators and some Gene Stealers. Anyway, um, my ex-wife actually bought me two Blood Angel models when, for, you know, for Christmas one year. Uh, anyway, there's a heap of crap here that I have accrued over the last few years. Um, the only thing that's not from my storage room that's on the table at the minute is my mate Josh gave me some Blood Angels transfers to help get me started. Um, so I thought, you know what, let's dive in and, and have a look. So I'm going to start, let's start with this, this hideous thing. And for those of you that are, are eagle-eyed, this is, um, uh, yes, it's old school. I'm using a, a green grass mat for this. I actually found, um, remember the Games Worship used to have the flocked blankets, basically bl flocked mats. Um, I actually found an intact one of those still in the box in the storage room. Um, but what you're seeing here, these are on. I actually, um, I've got two boards like this where I glued them down onto the board. But anyway, uh, let's have a look in the Warhammer box and see what we've got. All right. So I already know what's in here because I've undercoated these models. But... Um, now, this is this is many years of these being used for various things. Oh, not this side, this side. Here we go. So we've got some blood angels. Uh, there's some un, there's some undead and some some Bretonians and that in here. Oh, actually. Oh, um, I didn't. As a, a rogue trader era uh, chaplain, we might use that. There. I just spotted in the Bretonian some other stuff, so I might. I think I think that's a chaplain as well. We might have two Rogue Trader era chaplains there. Um, guys were still playing the Rogue Trader stuff when I started playing uh, Second Edition. It was here in Australia back then. Things started getting phased out. Uh, some of my undead. I'll just have a quick look in here. Uh, no, they're all remnants of a, jeez, oh of a Bretonian army. Um, yep. All right. So there we go. Something that I didn't realize I had. Um, so in here we have, uh, some devastated Marines. In fact, you know what? Let's get rid of this box. Here we go. I hope that's centered in the camera. Let's have a look. Okay, so in here we have, what do we have? A Devastator Squad, the Sergeant's arm's broken off. I grabbed out pretty much everything that I quickly could spot and I've hit them with uh, two layers of paint with my airbrush. So I know roughly what I've got. Obviously I didn't spot these guys uh, when I was doing that. Um, so I'm going to have to, what does it say? The good thing about the old models is um, when they made them, they used to actually say what they were on the casting tab. And that says Chaplain. I have two Rogue Trader era Chaplains. There we go. Um, probably not worth anything. But, and they're ugly as balls, but you know what? We'll paint them up with the, everything else. Um, so, I, I kind of have a rough idea of what I have. Um, so we'll pull all of these out. And we'll add them with the stuff that I've started painting. Um, so we've got... One, two, three, four, five. Now, one of the things that I've already realised with... Um, my um, with my second hand orders is that I'm going to need to flesh out the devastators or the devastator squads um, with more models. Now, these are little action armor cast does these the little um, gun muzzle flashes. 
Um, you can see the missile launcher, I've got the, the resin on there. Um, Armorcast used to do the Titans and Baneblade tanks and the like before there was a Forge World. In fact, I used to order a lot of my models from a place here in Australia called Military Simulations. And those guys used to send out a catalog, a mail order catalog every, um, every season. So it was a summer one, a winter one, and so on. And you would put your cash in an envelope with your order, send it back to them, and then about a month later, some models would show up on your doorstep. And that's how you ordered uh, models back then. Um, and I'm pretty sure the, the, the muzzle flashes and the missiles stuff um, is from back then. Um, so here's a Devis, one, two, three, wee, okay. So from memory, Devastator Squad's four heavies and a sergeant. So this guy goes in this unit here. So that's two, three, four. So we've got 10 guys there. Now, a lot of people I've noticed have started playing with Extra Space Marine. A lot of people have, have been playing with uh, minimum size squads these days. Uh, they, I think they sell a lot of them in lots of five. Um, it was back in my day, it was pretty rare to see a person put down five Space Marines as a unit. So I'm going to have to flash out this unit. There you go. So these guys need another four Space Marines. Um, and I'm going to have to get a second Devastator squad because a company has two Devastator squads. And there's one of my five or four tactical, sorry, six tactical squads. But the sixth tactical squad will be Primaris, guys. So let's look at what else we've got. I've got some bits boxes here. Um, now, there's all sorts of crap in these weapons. Um, and these aren't all Space Marine stuff, so I only really got out the, the Space Marine stuff. Um, but um, I should have enough bits to cobble together anything that I'm missing, except for things like um, gravity guns and the like that are, are new weapons that uh, are well after my time. Okay, guys, so I got my hands on... And you see these are already based... I had a stack of resin bases. I actually, in that room, one of the drawers in that room is full of resin bases. Um, so when I started airbrushing these guys a base coat down, I just literally I just glued them to some resin bases um, and put them on, on I snapped them off the old ones. I assemble the models with super glue. And if you plan to sell your models secondhand, Please assemble them with super glue because you can just snap the parts apart. If you assemble them with uh, plastic glue, it's a pain in the ass for the next person to have to try and um, and pull them apart, if, especially if they want to rebase them so everything matches their army. And that's one of the things I'm scared. <laughs> I don't know how many of the models that I've ordered secondhand are going to be assembled with plastic glue. I'm assuming most of them. So. I've got 10 Space Hulk Terminators here, an Assault Squad and a regular squad. Um, I'm aware that there's another Special Edition Terminator squad and there's the guy for the Cyclone Missile Launcher. Um, I probably want to get that too, so I've got three squads. Um, these aren't part of my second company. These are, these are an Auxiliary Elite unit, which I will probably be using quite a bit. Um, I hope these guys are still good in, in the new edition. Um, the, so we've got the assault cannon guy. So if I quickly work out which unit's which, I'm pretty sure. There we go. There's our two units of five. Um, I um, I really like these models. Um, I had my eye on them when they came out, and I got my chance a chance to get them secondhand, really cheap. Um, so I grabbed them and I, I stuck them on bases. Um, they actually came um, uh, red in red plastic, but um, yeah, the little I, don't, I didn't I didn't know that Games Workshop did coloured plastic, but there you go. Um, and right here is one of my two drop pods. Um, I've assembled it. I assembled this years ago. I was really curious um, about this model kit because 
I always dreamed of having one of these um, as, a, as a child, as a teenager. And um, I was really wrapped when I saw these came out as a thing. They probably suck in the rules now, but I really like this. So um, I've got two of them. I know I've got another one on the sprue. Um, but let's keep going and see what else I've got. Here we have uh, the stuff that I've started painting. Now, uh, two more tactical squads, a metal dreadnought, uh, some characters, some H like HQ options. Um, so I'll, I'll come back to what each of these are. For the tactical squads uh, in my second company, the plan is to basically have a mixture of weapons, particularly the special weapons. Um, the one that I just showed you before has uh, a melter gun and I think this squad here has a melter gun as well and these guys have a flamer so in my second hand lot to get um, another two tactical squads to fill the army out. One will probably need a gravity gun and one's probably going to have a plasma gun so that gives me a, a bit of an array of, of special weapon options. Um, and again in those two tactical squads one will probably have a heavy flamer and one will probably have a las cannon and I think that'll give me a really good variety of, of tactical squad options for my blood angels. Uh, the devastator squad will will have a las cannon and a few other you know I, I don't know whatever I can get my hands on second hand. Um, so two more tactical squads they're half painted um, then I've got this dreadnought and I've got actually um, got off eBay um, a plastic arm for him so and and another and the, the blood talon I don't know what these are called now in ninth edition but um, or a lightning claw anyway this is all, all metal um, I love my metal dreadnoughts I actually had um, 10 or 15 metal dreadnoughts back in the day this is the last man standing I painted him up uh, just for nostalgia I probably painted him up a year ago um, and then when the guys started talking about this project I painted Mephiston because who doesn't need a good fisting so there's Mephiston um, metal obviously metal um, uh, Terminator chaplain can't remember what these things are bloody called um, this is the plastic librarian that came with the Space Hulk stuff um, painted up ready to go um, and um, this is a, a, a Games Day miniature that a friend gave me. Now, this is, um, most of you will know what this is. Um, but for those who don't, it's the guy off the cover of the second edition box set. Um, and I painted him up to try and match. So he's got his yellow power fist thing going on and his yellow bolter. Um, again, I'm trying to base this army using a similar method. These resin bases... I think they're an Australian company. I can't remember where I got them from now. Um, but I got a crap load of them, so I'm using them up. Um, and uh, he, he's a uh, plastic or resin. I'm not sure what he is. I think he's plastic. Um, a tech marine or a tech, I don't know, a tech guy. Um, my daughter bought me this, my oldest daughter, who's uh, nearly an adult. She's 17. And... Uh, I think this was a random Father's Day or Christmas present before I'm or around the time I met my ex-wife, which well I had hair back then, so it was a long time ago. I think this was a fairly new release model when it came into my possession. Um, I painted it up back then, uh, but I um, so my painting skill hasn't improved over the years. It's still shit, but. Um, I put him on a new base the other day while I was sort of starting to get all this stuff ready. Astaroth the Grim and the Sanguinor. Again, these were random gifts given to me by uh, someone in my family um, or a friend. I, I don't remember. But they were... Um, this is when I wasn't playing Warhammer. They just went... They just remembered that I played it and I got these. These are both metal. Um, I've put them on bases, but in basing Astaroth the Grim, I discovered that his um, metal, this is all metal, the metal, the scroll work has 
broken down the bottom here so I'm going to have to fix that somehow so that's on my to-do list um, so here's some more now let's go into um, the next lot of stuff and that is um, this pile of uh, this pile of well I was going to say crap but pile of miniatures here so let's let's go into this pile this is the last pile for the video more or less um, these two tanks I got these second hand off a guy that was rage quitting um, and he, he couldn't he couldn't sell them at the time. Um, I don't know why. They're, they're not poorly painted. I'm going to have to repaint them. Um, this is a Baal Predator with a, 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 I don't know, a Melter Cannon or a Flamestorm Cannon or whatever the hell they call it. So uh, I'm excited about that. Um, I'll fix that up. Um, a, a Land Raider. Now, I know why he couldn't sell this one. Actually, there's a piece inside it as well. Mm. And it's going to be hard to get at because this door's been glued shut and I broke it trying to open it. Whoops. So, um, shit. I'm just going to have to glue it closed, repaint the model, and um, what's, in the, what's in the tank? Ah, a hatch. The hatch for this guy. Um, so I'm going to have to um, have a Land Raider whose doors don't open. Um, I don't think anyone that I play against is going to care. At least most 99.9% .9 of the games I'm going to play against my mates. And they know what I'm like. They're not going to care. So um, this one is a half done one. Um, this this I actually bought new back when I was still in the hobby. Um, this one does open up. And the inside has been painted. Um, this was around the time I rage quit. And um, I think I've got the tracks for it somewhere. It's taped off ready to be airbrushed. So I've got two Land Raiders. This one will have the normal loadout. This is the... I don't know what this is called. I call it the Blood Angel loadout, but I know that's not true. Anyway, the fiery loadout. Um, so I've got transport for my Terminator squads. Oh, the guy on the pin, he's got a melter cannon. How cool is that? Um, all right, so that's the two Land Raiders. I'll leave this box to last. In here we have the top of a Lehman Rust tank. Okay, that's not Blood Angels. Um, bags of stuff. Bags of whoop, tissue paper. Exciting, hey? A drop pod on sprue with the instructions so there's my second drop pod um, hey another transfer sheet that might come in handy um, the tracks off my land raider so oh yeah all the extra land raider bits are in here along with some bits for lehman rust tanks it would seem and weapons and stuff I'm going to have to go through all of that and figure out what it is I need for this project and what of that needs to be just put aside for when and if I do a Imperial Guard version of this. I don't know. You guys will be pretty exhausted hearing my shitty voice after three or four videos of this if anyone actually watches them all. So you might not want me to do another one of these. Um, but this will take a few months, I would say, to get the Blood Angels second company sorted. Okay, our box of Blood Angels. What do we have? A land speeder with a melter cannon and a heavy bolter. So this is a third edition land speeder. We have a second edition land speeder. Whoop, there's the tail fin. All right. There's one of the guys. There's a melter cannon and a flamer, heavy flamer, whatever you call it these days. Is the other guy there? Oh yeah, there's the other guy. Okay, so we have an intact second edition um, land speeder. And we have a um, first edition rogue trader, I, I don't know what you want to call it. 
land speeder, the old one, it's missing the gun off the top. Now, I do have a gun for the top of this. In fact, I think it's in that bits box. I'm going to sit this down here. I don't even know if that's in frame. No, it's not. I do have a gun for that model. Um, but the gun I think I have for that model, is it in this box? Uh, no. I don't know which box this weapon is in. I'm going through. Sorry, guys or girls. Sorry, should we try to be politically correct at least on camera? Uh, anyway, the gun I've got for that looks like a las cannon, an old las cannon. I don't. I don't think that's the right weapon for a land speeder. I don't think they're even allowed to have that. Um, someone knows where I can get the gun for the old land speeder that'd be great because I'd like to have it with the proper the proper gun I think it had uh, like a flamer multi melter looking gun on the top that's a melter gun slash flamer on the bottom um, yeah I, the gun I've got on the top I'm sure it's metal I'm sure it's here somewhere and I'm sure it looks like a las cannon we have Dante in metal with his old school jump pack and wings. Um, so there's another character. We have, um, I don't know what these things are. Objective markers, junk. Get them out of the box. We have a plastic space marine commander. Meh. We have... Um, some space marine. There's another one of those. This guy's got a plasma gun. Is that the same model? I think that's the same model. But they've got different arms. And his banner thing's broken. Isn't this a stupid idea? Who would walk around with a banner on their back like that in the future? Anyway. Um, I've got two space marine commanders. I don't know if I'll use either of them. But I have them. I'll have to paint them up as part of the project, I guess. I have some Space Marine Scouts. Sniper ones. We have one, two, three, four, five Space Marine Snipers, and a Scout with a Heavy Bolter. So, um, into the army they go. Um, but they're... Correct me if I'm wrong, they're 10th Company Blood Angels. So they don't count as part of the second company, but they will be an add-on. Here we have more non... Oh, these are heavy. Um, more non... Um, for second Company Blood Angels, we have Dark Angels with jetpack wings because um, whoever I got these off thought it was a good idea. Um... These, I've already started figuring out what I'm going to do with them. They're going to be a veteran squad. Um, and there is what appears to be... There are all sorts of mixtures of weapons. Um, there appears to be ten of them. So they will go into the army. And there's some extra loose guys. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Options list. I don't know. Maybe a Dark Angel looking guy as a sergeant in the tactical squads might look cool. What do you guys think? Um, there's some loose bits of weapons in here. That looks like they're off the Land Raider that's sitting over there. We have... Um, I can't remember who I got these off. Um... Sanguinary Guard, which my daughters have attempted to start painting. Sorry, guys. That's how seriously I took all of this. There's a unit of them. So I'm going to have to fix these up and paint them. Um, so I have a unit of Sanguinary Guard. Now, from what I know, these are the business in the game at the minute for Blood Angels. Um, this guy's got a standard. or um, Ah, 
a fun fact for people coming back to the game, uh, like me, they no longer call these uh, standards, they're now called ancients. So, um, yeah, uh, Sanguinary Guard. Uh, finally, in here, I probably need some more of these too. Um, can you run a squad of five? I'm not sure um, how these work, but I'm going to have to get some more. Finally, there's this guy in the box. Um, he's an alternative model with some Games Workshop bits. It's another metal miniature. His sword is broken off. Um, Size-wise, this is a little bit of a tricky one. Size-wise, he's, well, he's about the size of a regular Space Marine, I guess. To my eye, he sort of fits between a Space Marine and a Primar Primaris Marine. Um, the idea when I got my hands on this was to put the Eagle backpack that you see on um, the Marnie's Calgar and the like models and to make him a, an Emperor-like model, um, some sort of golden chapter master type guy. Uh, I'm leaning towards that as well. He's on a 40 mil base, so um, I guess he's probably just going to have casual rules. I was thinking um, of using this as a Primaris uh, chapter master, which um, looking in the Blood Angels Codex, I could give him the, the shield off the, um, the Primaris Captain in the Indominus box and a really cool sword. Um, alternatively, I could have him as a regular Chapter Master now. Um, give him He's got a power fist looking thing, but I could probably add a shield again to that. Um, a sword or maybe a hammer of Baal. So uh, you Blood Angels players out there... Um, if anyone's watching, if anyone actually watches this and comments and gives me some positive feedback, I'd really appreciate it because I'm not sure what to do with this model, but I do want to use it. And I think that Chapter Master style um, character model is the place for it to be. It's on a 40 mil base, but I guess I'm not going to be playing in tournaments. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to do with it, um, but uh, I want it to look cool. And it should be a nice um, centerpiece character for the other stuff. I'll probably do something really... Uh, I'll really amp up the painting on this. I'm going to try and think of something fancy to do with it. Okay, so... Here is my... Um, my Blood Angels. Um, the start of a second company. And... I guess a chunk of a first company um, of elites to go with them. Now there is one more model to go with these um, that uh, I haven't shown yet so I'm just going to put that down. It's a Thunderhawk gunship um, with the other weapon option. So I'm now in this position where this is going to be a centerpiece for the army. I got this um, quite a few years ago. It's been sitting on a shelf collecting dust. It's um, I, again, I got it second hand, um, and uh, I always wanted one as a child. So I got this big bad boy. I'm uh, I'm looking forward to going to town on the paint on it. It's been high on my priority list of things to to paint. And it will most definitely be the centerpiece of uh, my Blood Angels army. So, next steps are, are to look at fixing these up. There's quite a few models here that need a little bit of love. Um, there's those two uh, old chaplains that I found. I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. In fact, if I can, I'll probably even try and swap one for something that might be better in the army. Um, I have got a bunch of second-hand models on the way. <laughs> Ironically, one of them being the old Death Company Chaplain that um, is on the cover of the second edition um, Angels of Death book. Because uh, I had one of those with the Death Company and I loved it. Um, I've got ten Death Company models on the way. Uh, five of them are second-hand and assembled with uh, close combat weapons and pistols. The other five will be uh, new and... Um, new or on sprue anyway 
Um, again, second hand off a guy. I think some of the accessory sprues on those might be missing. Um, again, I got them really cheap. So the question will be whether or not I put the other five Death Company Marines uh, with the same loadout with the uh, close combat weapon and the, uh, the pistols or I go down the path of giving them the bolt guns. So again, um, if you guys have got advice or thoughts on that, I've got some, I think I've got 15 assault marines on the way, and um, from the photos I've seen of, uh, well, I think it's 14. I might be one assault marine shy of 15. But from what I've seen of photos of the bulk of those, they're in really rough shape, so they're going to need a lot of love and um, resurrecting as miniatures. I've got um, enough models to flesh out the Devastator squad here um, and finish off the second Devastator squad. So I should have two full Devastator squads uh, and another tactical squad. So I should have four tactical squads um, two Devastator squads and one and a half Assault squads plus I think there's a few other odds and ends on the way Tycho, Corbulo and, and the like so I've spent um, about $80 Australian um, fossicking around uh, mostly Facebook groups um, there's two really good Australian uh, second hand miniature Facebook groups eBay, uh, we have another site here called Gumtree so I've been um, Fossicking around the internet looking for secondhand models that would work for fleshing out this army. Um, as I said before, I've also got um, uh, people have been buying the Indomitus box and splitting it up, and that's how I got that uh, that rule book. And I've seen um, a couple of guys have been able to get rid of one half of it, and not the other, and so I've been able to pick up uh, reasonably uh, cheaply uh, the five of the five of the uh, the uh, Primaris Space Marines I think from the Indominus box but don't quote me um, the three guys on the motorcycle and the couple of character models including the um, the really cool looking chaplain so I'm, I'm gonna have like five or six chaplain models here guys I'm not gonna go to know I don't know what I'm going to do with them all also on the way uh, from an overseas purchase is um, a sanguinary priest, I've been told I need one of those, uh, and a couple of other odds and ends. Um, so I'm hoping the next video should feature some of the secondhand models and hopefully some progress on painting up the, the army. Um, I'm focusing initially on um, the, uh, the, the, the two tactical squad, two of the three tactical squads I've got here, get them painted up because be honest um, once you get those painted up I think everything else is fairly enjoyable it's the rank and file troops that's a, a bit of a pain um, and then I will probably focus on the sanguinary guard because I'm likely to use them all the time although I do have a question around um, how many of them I might need for this so I'm thinking um, uh, between four and six more is probably ideal without a, 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 without a, a, a standard or an, an ancient version. Uh, I, I've got two Terminator squads here. I possibly might go a third if I can find them cheap enough. Um, one thing I am looking for is the gun for that Rogue Trader era land speeder. So I'm still hunting for that. Uh, 3D printing might be an option, but I don't have a design or a file um, or a 3D printer at the minute. I gave mine away um, yeah I think uh, we'll go from there there's a few dark angel models that I've got to make look like blood angels so um, that's going to be an interesting um, thing to see I don't know how well received that will be by uh, other players but um, I've got these models I may as well use them um, there's a lot of these uh, wings uh, Dante's got those wings and the, the wing rocket packs or jump packs I should say are on these I'm going to call them veterans. Um, so I think, yeah, I think we've got a, a fairly solid start to an army. I don't know how it will play. Um, once I have uh, some Death Company 
I think we'll be good to go. I did play a 500 point game with one of my close mates who's getting the Necrons and I used, um, and it was just a learning game to learn the new rules and I used the Librarian um, in Terminator armor and a regular Terminator squad, so these guys here um, and I think there was a tactical squad, I can't quite remember um, and I narrowly scored a win um, but it wasn't really a win as such as we were just trying to learn the current rules. Anyway guys, I'm really looking forward to getting a little bit of feedback. Um, it's been a long time coming. I've been sort of collecting and, and hiding some of these models away over the last uh, 20 years. And um, it's actually kind of exciting just to even just get a little bit of paint on some of them um, to see where it's all headed. But uh, I would say within uh, a few months, this, this and a few more models will all be painted. I've got a few ideas for the Thunderhawk gunship. I think I'm going to airbrush some angel wings up the side of it. Again, if you've got any thoughts on that, uh, let me know. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to sharing the journey. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. And uh, I'll look forward to next time, which should be in a week or two because my kids are, are going to be home with me for the next week. And I'm not going to get time to make a, new, a video, but I will get... I will get into some of the painting when they're asleep. Alright, cheers.